Howdy, everybody. Hi, I'm Mike V, your host for Northern Pine Woodworking. In this week's tool review, we're going to be taking a look at the Deepwall DCL050 LED handheld light. Let's get started. All right, so the DCL050 uh, LED handheld light from DeWalt comes in just your normal clamshell packaging. Uh, the easiest way I know how to open these is just grab a pair of tin snips, go ahead and make a couple cuts on the top like so. Well, the tin snips didn't work all that well for myself, so I went over to the toolbox and grabbed a shop knife. Let's open the blade and wrap up the rest of this unboxing. All right, we have that cut. Let's open this safely without trying to cut my hand open. Once you're able to get the uh, LED light out of the packaging, you end up with the uh, remaining uh, portion of the clamshell, which we can set aside over here. We'll recycle that. Um, the cardboard insert, also no longer needed. And the instruction manual. And let's be honest, it's a flashlight with a battery attachment. We don't need this either. All right, we're back. So I didn't lose power or anything. I just turned off all the shop lights here during midday. There's no windows in here, so it's pitch black. Here's the best way that I could think of to show on camera how well this shop light works. So I have the, uh, the handheld light uh, over here to the side and a board here showing uh, 500 lumens. Now if I flip, you'll notice you can read that pretty well if I move the light around everything looks uh, just fine. If I do get this really close, it definitely lights up uh, the area that I'm working on. Now if I switch the light here down to 250 lumens, that's about half, it's still bright enough to see everything around in the shop. Granted, it's, it's very dark. I wouldn't want to use a table saw with this little light, but you can also see if I move this around here, there's definitely enough light if you're uh, working on your dishwasher, uh, fixing, let's say, a dryer, you're working out in your car, under the engine. It definitely has enough uh, light output for that. I have this light on the sturdy surface here uh, in the upright position. If I touch it, if I tap it, it's not really falling over. This is with the small battery. If I swap this out uh, for the five amp hour battery, which weighs about three times more, if I try the same test, it definitely will move around if you, if you bump it, but it didn't fall. Test number two, uh, flashlight in the straight forward position. If I tap it left and right, it moves around. It doesn't fall over, so that's good. I'll swap out batteries to the lighter one and a half amp hour. Same thing if I tap it forward. I mean, these are simulating bumps. It works just fine. So the third test that I want to try with this is with the larger battery, tipping this uh, flashlight all the way back. The larger battery, if I tap it, it takes a pretty good tap before it falls over. So maybe this is what they were referring to in those online reviews. Let's pull off this uh, five amp hour battery, set that aside. I'll put the smaller uh, one and a half amp, which weighs about a third of the weight. Set that down. I'll tip the light all the way back. It's about negative 45 degrees. And if I barely tap this, 
it falls over. So I can see I can see what those reviews were saying. That makes sense. If I tap it too much, it falls over. The fourth test that I want to do is have the flashlight fall over since we just identified that the flashlight tips over with the smaller batteries with barely touching it. Let's turn the flashlight on to low. Let's tap it, have it fall onto the bench and just make sure that those lights don't, uh, uh, don't break. So that one worked uh, pretty successful, that's good. Now, the funny thing is, I, I ran that last test, number four, because I have had products, uh, not from DeWalt, but other manufacturers that I've tested, and they'll fall over and they'll break. I mean, you haven't even had the tool five minutes and it falls apart. So I, take, I end up taking those. The uh, fifth and final test uh, that I want to do is uh, take a look at the sensitivity of uh, the locks. And what I mean by that is, you can move uh, the flashlight up and up and down here. I can adjust this, but it's kind of flimsy. It's obviously I'm not going to put a five pound weight on this and you know test the weight to pull it down. But I would say on a five point scale, one being if I tap it, it goes all the way down like this, and five being. I need a hydraulic uh, pump to get it to move forward. I'd say this is probably a two. You don't need a ton of pressure uh, to move it down, and that's fine, but I wanna make sure that if I lock it in here and I'm working on it, it's not going to fall down or move down slowly by itself. It could be a little bit tighter or a little bit more crisp, and in the grab, but for a handheld shop light and having the ability to use this uh, swivel hook on the top, overall I'm less concerned that it doesn't have a very tight grip uh, on the flashlight there, uh, but other than that it looks like a pretty solid product. So the last feature that I really like about this flashlight is this removable hook. You can pull this out, swivel, up, swivel it around, put it on an eye hook, a nail, a bolt, and really swivel and redirect that light from the flashlight to wherever you need it. Well, that's going to wrap up this week's video for the unboxing and first thoughts on this DeWalt DCL050 LED handheld shop light. If you enjoyed this video and want to see videos like this in the future, please click that subscribe button below to get alerted to our videos that come out every other Wednesday. Thanks a lot and have a great rest of your day.